are going to IKEA Toronto. First of all, let's learn how to pronounce IKEA. In Swedish, it's pronounced as IKEA and it stands for Ingbar Kamprad Elmtarit Agundarit. It all started way back 1894 when the German couple Akim Erdmann Kamprad and his wife Franziska owned a property in a very small village in a small land in the south of Sweden. property na ito ay nakita lamang ng mag-asawa sa isang German hunting magazine. And they bought it for 54,000 Swedish kroner including cattle and crops. Well, that's a lot of money during that time. Year 1896, lumipat nga ng Sweden ang mag-asawa together with their two sons without knowing any Swedish word. Hindi naging madali ang kanilang buhay sa kanilang bagong tirahan. Kasama na dito ang pagbagsak na kanilang business at isa na ding factor ang mga neighbors nila na ayaw sa mga newcomers or Germans na katulad nila which eventually led to the suicide of Akim. And 30 years later, one of his sons also committed suicide. At ang isa sa mga anak nila ay si Franz Fyodor Mary Bertha Wilson. Nagkaroon sila ng anak na si Ingbar Kamprad noong 1926. Alam nyo ba na sa age 5 pa lang, si Ingbar Kamprad started buying and selling things to help out the family's economy. At sa tulong ng kanyang tiyahin, nakabili siya ng 100 much boxes bilang puhunan at naibenta niya ito with good profit. From that day on, he became a businessman always looking for good deals and started earning a lot of money. Di nagtagal, nakapag-loan si Ingbar ng 500 Swedish kroner which is now equivalent to 58 US dollar at bumili siya ng reservoir fence from Paris at binenta niya ito ng 450 Swedish kroner each at nagkaroon siya ng profit for about 200 US dollar. Imagine Ingvar at the young age, natutunan niya agad how to turn goods into money and reinvest the money into new goods and so on. At noong 1943, sa age na 17, ay binili ni Ingvar ang hardware na kanyang uncle na nakatira sa Almkod. At dito nag-start ng sariling business si Ingvar at tinawag niya ito IKEA! IKEA which stands for I for Ingvar, K for Kamfran, E for Elmarid, A for Agunarid. Sa simula ng kanyang business, ang mga products ng kanyang binibeta ay mga small households tulad na lang ng pens, wallets, and frames for pictures. At ang gamit lamang niya ay ang milk trucks para mag-deliver ng kanyang mga products. In 1947, dito na siya nag-start mag-sell ng mga furnitures made by local manufacturers. At dahil ang place ng company ni Ingvar ay nasa rural and remote area, medyo challenge para sa kanya ang mga reach out ang mga nasa bigger cities, especially back in 1940s and 50s. It was 1951 nang i-launch ni Ingvar ang kauna-una ng iconic IKEA catalog. At dahil nga sa mababang presyo ng mga products ni Ingvar, maraming tao ang hindi makapaniwala kung ang quality ba nito ay okay. Kaya para masolve ni Ingvar ang problema na kanya mga buyers, irenta niya ang isang old workshop at kinawa niya itong showroom para i-display ang kanyang mga furniture noong 1953. Although it's small and not a modern building, it was an immediate success. And at the same year, ay na-hire ni Ingvar si Gilles Lundgren para maging illustrator ng kanyang catalog and na-realize niya na sadyang napaka-talented sa pagiging designer si Gilles dahil maraming na-develop ng mga model designs para sa IKEA furnitures. After World War II, maraming small and cheap homes were built in Sweden. And of course, they all needed furnitures. 
and the demand for cheap furniture was high. And syempre, saan sila bibili kung di sa IKEA? IKEA made a miracle to this town. From a small town of Amkhold, from nothing to come to life. And it was 1965 when second IKEA was opened in Stockholm. The first store outside Sweden were opened in Norway in 1963 and Denmark in 1969 until IKEA conquered Europe. Today, there were a total of 445 IKEA stores worldwide in 54 countries. Ingvar Kamprad never borrowed money. He kept IKEA private until his death in 2018 at the age of 91. IKEA is separated into five areas, showroom, restaurant, marketplace, self-serve warehouse, and checkout. If you're hungry and looking for unlimited coffee, why not come early and try their breakfast items offered only in the IKEA restaurant. Pero dahil sa pandemic ngayon, sarado muna ang restaurant. If you don't know exactly what you are shopping for, showroom is the best place to view assembled IKEA furniture. If you are looking for some decorations or accessories such as towels, dishes, pillows, curtains, or fabrics, you can find it all here in the marketplace.
Soapsurf Warehouse is exactly that. This is where you will find furniture that you viewed in the showroom. And then finally check out place where you have to pay. Hanggang dito na lang po ulit. Until next time, see ya!